Hey guys, welcome back. Todd here again with HobbyLink Japan or HobbyLink.tv, depending on where you're watching this, I guess. And it is time for another review. Now, if you're into anime at all, this is kind of what I would consider to be a filler episode because we're not looking at a specific kit. Instead, we are looking at another new customized scene base. And this is going to be the Waterfield version, which was just released last week. So previously I have reviewed, as you can see there on the camera, there is one on the right that was I think the original customized scene base that they released a number of months ago. And that one was kind of quite cool because at, I had a bunch of different RX-78s along with me when I reviewed that one. And what was really cool about that one is you can kind of really chain them together and make a really cool looking kind of a hall of armor type of uh, display going on with all the different kits uh, with all the different kits in those scene bases so the one we are looking at today though this water the water field version as you can kind of tell there by looking at the back of this thing you see all those lines here on the back panels yes this kit basically is pretty the back panels at least are identical to what you got on that original version of the customized scene base the green field there but now they're in blue because of course this is a water version so blue water is blue so you got to have blue versions but there are a number of other differences for this water version com besides just uh the back there all right so as you can see here i think i this kit was called the Momokopo. I built this kit a while ago and I when I was building this uh, scene base at home I had to I looked on my shelf and I had to, I had to think like what kind of water kits water based mech suit kits do I have that I could bring in and display with this thing and this Momokopo cool little Momokopo thing from the B Build Divers series was the one that stood out the most plus he's kind of cute and he's quite small and he fits perfectly on this base so I grabbed him off the shelf to bring in so to help me review off this thing so let's take a look at some of the other pieces that you're going to get with this customized scene base so as you can see what he is standing there on the bottom that is a sand type field and i think that might be the same as what we got earlier with the snow and the desert effect versions of the scene bases if you remember those i also reviewed them i think around the same time as that one or maybe at the same time as the city bases as well but now we're getting it and because it's underneath the ocean of course it's a different color it's i mean the desert version i think was a light brownish tan color and then the snow of course would be white but this time we are getting one of these in a nice dark brown color and just like the uh, desert and the snow versions you have a number of different holes here and they're all covered up so it might be hard to see it there so they have these nice fitting pieces here to cover up the holes, but if you ever want, then you can just kind of poke one of these out and then you'd be able to take that, take out the little plug and then you can stick in kind of uh, one of your little connecting arm type of pieces there so you can do a better type of display with this thing. So we have this sandy, dark brown sandy piece here for the bottom of the ocean. And then you also get a second one of these hexagon pieces here and this is molded in a clear blue so i think this piece is completely new for this version of the scene base and you'll notice there is a round thing going on in the center of here and we'll take a look at that because there's a couple of different options that you can do with this which is kind of cool i think so basically this piece same hexagon shape as you get with the other with uh, the sand piece and same with the other customized scene base there so you would be able to connect them together if you would like to do that and for that point they also have these uh, connecting pieces here there's two of them included with this set so you can just connect this onto the edge of one of these pieces and then connect it onto the edge of one of the other pieces and you can just like daisy chain them all together so that's kind of quite cool so let's talk about this hole here in the center of this piece right now so this hole here and you get two different options for what you want to do with this one right now i have just the plain completely closed type of piece plug here in the center but you can pop that out it's quite easy to pop it out and then you get a nice hole here so there's a couple of cool things that you can do with this you'll notice at the top of this guy on top of his uh, the water above this momokopo piece here there is this splash effect the clear blue splash effect so if you want it doesn't 
Don't think there's anything to actually lock this thing in place, but you can place it on top. And then you've got this kind of cool looking splash effect with the hole. And you might be wondering like, why would you want to do this type of effect? Well, you could have a arm piece connected to the bottom base and then you could connect it to say another type of kit, whatever you have. And then you can have, make a cool little diorama. Let me see if they can get his shoulders inside of this piece here. Work with me there. So then you can have this kind of cool effect going on if you would like of like a unit kind of popping out of the water there. And doesn't that look like, that would be kind of cool I think. They show that off in the manual so we'll take a picture of we'll take a look at the pictures they have in the manual as well. So you can do that with this hole in this piece and then there's another plug here that will go in as well. Now this one has a bit more of a ripple effect going on towards the center of that. And then there's also a hole in the center of it. So you could also plug like one of these uh, connecting pieces here into the center of it. And then you can have some other kind of piece displayed. And then that would look like something else is maybe kind of popping out of the center of the ocean there. So that's kind of quite cool. So it's cool that you get these little options of what you would like to do. Because if you're using these scene bases here, of course, you want to have a bunch of different options. You want to pose your kits and you want to make some rather cool looking poses. So I do want to also mention before I forget, you'll notice that there is a water piece here on the top as well as a sand piece at the bottom. But I also have two pieces here in the back. So I built a total of three of these scene bases so I could daisy chain them together afterwards here and so yeah this kit if you buy one scene base it only does it only comes with one of the blue hexagon pieces as well as one of the brown pieces and two of those back pieces there so what i have here displayed in front of the camera is because i have two of these kits well technically three but some parts from multiple different pieces i guess another thing to mention here is behind the little momoko pool thing and you can kind of see that it's a paper right there and so you get these little pieces of paper with a picture kind of like a, an ocean type of thing and that's really nice for the display now you do have to cut these pieces of paper out yourself actually then they don't come pre-cut from bandai they are this thing comes with this piece of paper here inside of the plastic bag the plastic bag that these things come packed in and on the back here you can see where i have actually cut these things out already yeah you, this is where they are going to be and you will need to cut these out with scissors if you want to use these to display. I guess since I'm holding this paper here, let's go ahead and take a look at it now, shall we? So let's flip it around to the front here and it is showing off this nice image of the scene base here with the same splash effect piece that I had on top of the piece of the, a second ago. And then you got the sandy bottom here and then it is showing off the different arms. So we'll take a look at the different arm pieces that come included with this this kit here you don't and I think actually I think these holes should be the same diameter they should work with the arms from different action bases if you would like to try to plug a different action base piece into the bottom I think they are the same diameter so it should work at least the action base the newer action bases I think they were called four and five but uh, yeah you get a couple of different pieces and then you have whoops it fell over then you have a really long piece here. Now, if you would like a little bit, I didn't have one equipped because I don't think it really needs it unless you're going to be putting a lot of weight on the top. But you do have a little support arm here and you can also use those connecting pieces. So if you'd like to connect the two bases together, you wouldn't be able to use this pole. But there's a hole in the center of the connecting piece that allows you to plug in this really long pole and just give you a little bit of extra stability at the top piece here. So that is included. And then it is mentioning, showing off the different type of plug types here. You've got the scissor type of arms, which is nice if you're using a non-Bandai hobby type of uh, figure with this kit, then this arm would be able to grab onto the waist of one of those kits. And you get a couple of different uh, peg type of connectors here. The, uh, you got a tiny little hexagon head here, which is nice because this piece would actually lock into place. And yeah, just a couple of different connecting pieces. Another thing to mention with this, is that this is for 1144 scale kits in 
mainly. So it won't really, the size of a 1-100 scale type of master grade kit is just going to be a little bit too large. I mean, you could buy a number of these things and you could just connect them all together and you could stack these walls on top of each other and you could make it work with 1-100 scale if you were to buy a number of them, quite a few of them, then you could get it to work. But this product is uh, packaged and in intended to be used with 1144th scale kits. So here, let's take a look at the bottom here. So it's showing that it works with a different kind of customized scene things. You can combine them together. So here is the customized scene base with that cool little city base version that we took a look at earlier. So if you would like to make a kind of under the rapture, was that the name of the uh, city that was under the ocean? Well, somebody will post it in the comments. But yeah, you could make a nice kind of cool looking under this under the water type of city scene here if you have these city based pieces. That does look quite cool. And then here it is showing off that effect if you want to have just the hole in the top piece with a unit kind of popping out of the water. And then it's showing it's connected to the arm to make it actually be able to stand up and do that. So that's kind of quite cool. You could do this if you would like. And then here it is showing three different bases kind of chained together and two different aquatic suits going on underneath. So that is kind of quite cool. Now I do have three of these things, so I will take a look at what these things look like when they are all connected together. Let's rotate this around and it is showing off that, yeah, you can connect these guys together with a bunch of different type of uh, pieces here. So yeah, it's showing off. This is the desert version, which I was mentioning earlier. It's a lighter brown, it's a lighter tan color. And that also came included with the rock. So actually this, this desert color looks quite good as well as the bottom of the ocean, more of a tropical type. So that kind of looks quite cool. And then it's just connected with that same scene base that I have over there to the right. And then, then it's showing off there. There's a city piece connected to the edge of an ocean. I guess that makes it look like the, the sea there and you got some cool effect parts going on that looks quite cool and here's everything that is included in one package if you are curious on what is included so there you have a picture of that all right so now we have my scene base which has fallen over and my little Momo Kapoor guy here, I'm going to put him back on the stand. So I'm going to go ahead and see if I can connect together these with the other two that I have built and just make it look a little bit larger. What say you? Alright, so I just made some kind of, uh, not really terribly too, too good of diorama, but something that just gives you a good idea of like, the kind of fun stuff that you can do with this thing when you get a couple of them chained up together. So I've got my, my little 30 minute mission guy kind of, he's popping out through the top of the water base there, a little splash effect going on. I think maybe he's trying to, either he just jumped in or he's trying to escape the Momokopul guy here in the back and I've got that guy. He is now connected to one of those stands and he's just kind of swimming around on his back there because when you're underwater you can kind of swim around. That's kind of quite cool. And I did plug in little, uh, since this thing is has three of them in this, uh, this kind of triangle type of position here, I, I did decide to use the little extender arm to give it a bit more stability here on the top because he's supporting some more weight. Uh, stretched out over from the back there so it's kind of cool you can do a number of cool different kinds of swimming type poses with this thing I think that's rather awesome rather cool looking especially for these aquatic type of mobile suits here so 30 minute mission there are a number of the more aquatic type of things and they even have we just saw it on the Gunpla TV the other week there's little submarine type of kits they have coming out now for 30 minute missions that's kind of quite cool too, I have to say. This is a cool looking scene base, especially if you're into the water, into the water effects, or if you're into making little dioramas there for your 1144 scale kits. Okay, and with that, I think I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this video here, this look at the customized scene base with the water effect parts. So thank you guys out there very much for watching. 
I need to get back to building a master grade wing kit because yeah I had to pause that so I can put these things together not that they took that long but uh, I hope you guys can forgive me I mean we do have a PlayStation 5 to uh, to play with so got a lot of things going on at the moment so yeah stay tuned for a review of the master grade wing pretty soon i hope i've got part of it done i just need to get finished on it so thank you guys very much for watching stay tuned for more we will be back with more reviews